morning everyone and welcome to country number 35 Vietnam. So I have been in Vietnam for over one week now. I am in a town called Da Nang. So Da Nang is like central Vietnam on the coast. It is absolutely beautiful here. My time here, I have loved every moment of it. Um, I'm not going to be doing crazy traveling while I'm here mainly because I just want to base myself to catch up on a lot of stuff. Like I've got so many videos from the Philippines that I need to catch up on. Um, but this has hands down been the best place I've been to base myself because straight in that distance is the beach. And I've got this whole beautiful town around me. The food here is amazing. I absolutely love the food. But I am going to show you guys a full day of what there is to do in Da Nang because there is a lot to do around here but before I get into anything I want to show you where I'm staying so let's jump right in. And welcome to my humble abode. So I am going to be here for the next two weeks in Da Nang. This place is great, check it out. So I have this whole entire place to myself for a total of 12 Australian a night, eight US dollars a night. So this is an Airbnb. And also guys, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the, my link in the description because you can get $40 off your first Airbnb, meaning you could get a place like this all to yourself for free for a couple nights, or you could get a place anywhere else around the world for up to $40 off your first Airbnb. So. Be sure to not miss out on that special little discount. Okay, so enough talking and let's finally jump into the adventures today and go and grab some breakfast. Let's go. Definitely not low on options when it comes to food throughout Da Nang. There is just so many varieties of food. Every day I've been here, I've been having something different. And I walked by this place yesterday, Good Waffle. And I had to come here for breakfast. I mean, like, look at this. This looks amazing. Prices are really reasonable too. Um, like, I've been spending average, probably not more than five Australian dollars per meal. One Australian dollar is around 15,000. Vietnamese dong and one US dollar is probably, I think it's around 23,000 Vietnamese dong. So everything I do today, everything I buy, um, I'll be sort of taking note just to see, show you how much everything costs. But, oh my God. Let's dig in to this beautiful breakfast, guys. Woo. Few moments later. All right, so I've got my mode of transportation sorted. So this was 100,000 for the day. This is sort of the cheapest I can find around town. Uh, so I'll add that to the list of expenses for today. It is very easy to find scooters or motorbikes around Vietnam as well, just because they are huge on driving motorbikes here. Um, I'm gonna right now head outside of Da Nang just a little bit, but there's a really cool place I wanna show you. So let's hit the road. Alright, so I've been trying to choose the time of when to introduce you to this place and I feel like now's better than any. So I am at the place called Marble Mountain and as you can see there's a lot of really interesting caves around here and a lot of little tight spots you got to squeeze through. Um, this is very close to Da Nang actually, like it was only a, I would say about an eight minute drive and it is 40,000 
dong for entry. You can also take the elevator for an extra 15,000, but I just took the stairs. Um, it was pretty simple, but at the top of this mountain, you get some pretty amazing views. Okay, so I've finally reached the bottom now. I'm actually quite amazed at how big that was. I think I spent like 40 minutes just cruising around the whole thing, uh, but that's not the last of it. There's this here also. So this is actually a separate part to where I previously was. This is another like big giant cave. So this is 20,000 for entry. So let's go check out what's inside there. Oh, I'll tell you what, the best thing about being in these caves is it's a great way to escape the heat. This is like so nice and cool. It still blows my mind of how big it is like. Look at this. How crazy is this? Also, interesting fact, Vietnam actually has one of the world's biggest caves. I really want to plan to do that one year, but maybe I'll get around to it. to like sort of squeeze yourself through that little tight crevices around here. It's very, very small this game, like some certain parts. Right. But then it opens up into another big bit like this. Oh, it's starting to feel like this place is a bit of a maze inside. It's like this. That was good. I gotta say though, this place is very, very touristy. Uh, it's probably one of like the most touristy things you can do close to Dadang, but it is well worth a visit, especially for the price. Um, and as you can see, they're trying to sell as much things as they can. They've got a lot of marble things, like there's marble statues, there's marble statues everywhere, that pretty much every shop around here, they're just trying to sell like a marble, marble souvenir. Hence, that's why it's called Marble Mountain, I guess. Um, right, so let's continue the journey and make my way back to Danang. So here's something that I really wanted to go to, but I can't. So this is Sun World Danang. So this is like a theme park. I was actually gonna to go to it a couple of days ago, um, but I found out they're doing work on it. It says, Sun World Danang Wonders is temporarily closed for annual maintenance and renovation. Kind of sucks because it does look really cool. Um, I think they closed literally just a week ago and they don't reopen until like mid-April. So if you happen to be in Da Nang um, anytime after April, after this video, then definitely check it out because it looks pretty amazing. Like they got a giant Ferris wheel, they got a bunch of big temples in there, um, they got a few huge roller coasters. Um, but yeah, it's just one of the other touristy things you can do around here. Hey! All right, so I parked up my bike and I'm just gonna take the town by foot now. Um, so I'm currently on the other side of the river. So on that side, that is more like the touristy side. So you got all the beautiful hotels, you got the really nice beach, um, and it's just more like a chill back vibe. And then on this side, this is 
just more for the locals. Not really many tourists come on this side. It's still nice, but that side is more aimed towards the tourists. I really like the bridges around here though too. And this all looks so beautiful at night time. Like all these bridges are lit up. Um, and this bridge out in the distance, I don't know if you can tell, but that's actually a big giant yellow dragon. And every Saturday night around 8.30 p.m., uh, that dragon like breathes fire out of its mouth. So I, I will be, whoops. I will be showing you guys that um, later tonight. So be sure to keep watching the video so you don't miss out on that. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna explore around town and find myself some lunch because I'm getting hungry. yourself some clothes Vietnam is a great place to do it just because the quality of their material is really good uh, I've noticed like everything you buy here whether it be clothes shoes or suits um, it's, it's just all like top-notch quality and if you want to get your own like tailor-made suit uh, it, it's super cheap to do it here so yeah if you want to go on a shopping spree Vietnam's the place to do it oh yes the moment I've been waiting for for a long time lunch so, I didn't know quite what I was ordering from the beginning, but it looks like I've got myself like beef, egg, um, sort of like on a hot plate. And I really like a lot of the meals you get too. You always get like a nice, fresh, like green salad. So I'm gonna dig into this and then I'm gonna move on to the next adventure. All right, so I think I'm done with this part of town. Um, also one thing to note as well, the airport is really close to this town. Like. I remember when I arrived, it was only like a, a couple minute drive um, to like the first hotel I was staying at in this area. But now I think it is finally time to chill back, relax and hit up the beach. So I'll see you the beach. And here we are. So I'm actually quite amazed at how long this beach is. It's been a long, I don't, I would have to say this is like Probably one of the better like long stretches of beaches I've seen throughout Asia. Like this beach kind of seems similar to like the beaches we have back at home. Um, and they have like so many different areas where you can like chill out and relax. Um, but it also has that feeling as well, kind of a bit like Miami in a way. So you got all the big buildings, like Miami or Hawaii, you got all the big buildings and hotels along here. Um, and then you got the beach literally just far from it. So, yeah, I really, I really like this place. It's really nice. And uh, it's crazy how many people are out there. Jesus, so many locals. All right, so another thing I wanted to do is way out the distance there. I don't even know if I can see it on my camera. Uh, oh, you can sort of see it, that white thing over there. That's like a big Buddha statue. So right now, I think I might just freshen myself up, go back, have a shower, um, and then I'll meet you guys back at the big Buddha statue. See you there. Made it. See? Told you it was big. <laughs> How crazy is that, eh? Look it's huge. Love it. It's really nice at night as well because like, this whole thing lights up. I'll probably, we'll just quickly go around this area just because I really want to get the sunset. As you can see, the sunset is setting in the background. Oh, there's a monkey right there. 
Look at this. We got a monkey, we got a beautiful view. Okay, so this right here is one of my favorite spots to get the best view of Da Nang. Look at this, check out. Sadly, the sun has set sort of just behind the clouds. So it's not super beautiful, but like this building, it's sort of like an abandoned building um, and all the locals just come up here, they just have some beers, chill out and watch the sunset. But yeah, I'm still gonna put up my drone anyways. And also, it's really cool too. There's, because like, I've been here once before, but there's all like these boats out in the distance. Um, you'll see it better on my drone, but yeah, you can see them everywhere there. Friggin' love this spot, it's so amazing. Righto, let's put her up. Well, sorry I didn't get the best sunset, but you gotta admit, this is a pretty spectacular view. Love it up here. Um, and the day does not end there. So, as I promised you before, I am going to show you guys that dragon, so the dragon breathing fire. Um, and like, right close to where that bridge is as well, they have like a night market every single night. They have amazing food. So, I'm gonna come back to you guys. Um, around then and then I'll end the day. It's been such a big day. Oh my god. Actually, scratch that. Sorry guys. I think I might have to end the day there just because I am so god damn exhausted and today has actually been a very big day. I know this video is going to be a big one to edit so I feel like I don't need to keep dragging it on anymore and also I want to go back to this night market for like and do like a whole video on itself while showing that dragon because there is some pretty amazing food at that night market and just that area at night is is really cool it's like a whole different scene um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed my first Vietnam adventures there's plenty more to come um, yeah just do all the other stuff subscribe give it a like if you want, and I'll uh, see you down the track. Bye.